Hey guys, welcome back to Dead Space. Uh, sorry about the break again. We ran into some issues with our internet, but that appears to be fixed, so we should be able to upload. I don't have any stasis. Do I have a stasis pack? <laughs> I just keep running out of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's not going very well. Maybe you can get smashed. Nah, let's not do that, because we're coming up on a pretty big part of the game. <laughs> Door says, let me smash. <laughs> let me smash. Your cat's running around trash in his mouth. Of course he is. He's a little... A little trash kitty. I want to call him a trash panda, but that's a raccoon. No, he's just a trash kitty. I really do want a trash panda, though. A raccoon? Yeah. Yeah, me too. They're I've nature's heard they're burglars. A handful, they're so cute. The oh, thing? shit. Snack time. They're saving it for later. I wonder what they were actually doing. Well, well I, I know what they're doing. I want to know why yeah. is it not converted? It's, you'll see later. It's hard to explain without giving any spoilers. Oh. Now he's running around with his cat toy. Give me that. Is he really? Yes, he's going between... Sorry if you guys hear that, my cat's on crack. <laughs> he's going between shooting on a plastic baggie and rolling around his like little jingle ball. And now he's pulling the plastic baggie back out of the trash can. He's a little jerk. Yeah. Oh, we stay. Oh, something's coming out. I was out. gonna say, please tell me I didn't break him open. Okay, we're good. Now, now you... we're gonna look for supplies because I'm very low on everything. I don't need money. I need stuff. See, that's why I wish you could just carry infinite amounts of everything. I don't. It would make the game way too easy. I wouldn't mind that being easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the type of person who's like, the game's not hard enough. I'm like, oh, it's good, because I didn't really have to struggle. I mean, I kind of like a challenge with my games. I like puzzles, but as far as, like, damn it, I'm dead again. I need more health. Like, I'd be totally fine with just being able to carry unlimited health packs and ammo and stuff. Alright, so we're about to get into one hell of a fight. Where are Is they that at? that loud? Hello. Thing? That's just a normal dude. Why would you not shoot? He like jump attacks. Jumps He's a little asshole yeah. is what he is. Where did those come from? They're coming from the vents all over the place. Okay. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. You stay down. And I want to know why does the ship need so many damn vents? They're everywhere. Dang. Because the ship is massive. Yeah, but like, you don't realistically need that many. Yeah, you do. Of course you do. You got to circle the air. Yeah, you just need a couple in each room, though. Alright, take a health pack while they're all stasis out. I don't have to be human-sized. Yeah, really. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Miasma of body parts. There you go. Hello, little trash man. Sorry, our cat's all on us. God, I'm out of ammo. I was wondering why it wasn't shooting. It's because I'm out of fucking ammo. What if I just bought Geiger, like, little overall so he could just run around this little trash man? Let's not. We, like... I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I just, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Back whenever uh, we lived with one of my best friends, we used to dress our cats up in sweaters. They were so cute, and they really didn't care after a while. At first, they did the whole dead weight thing. Right. But then eventually they learned to just deal. They just, they've come to accept their fates. Yeah, they just, <laughs> if I wear the sweater, she'll continue to feed me, so. <laughs> yeah. Cats are weird like that. Like, they don't listen to a word that you say. But they're smart. But they'll suck up if they have to. Yeah, they're, they're totally brown nose. Open the door. Let's go. Okay. Extreme danger. You're just like, oh, I gotta go this way. <sighs> Should really? you save? He's not gonna let me save. I got some good news. <laughs> Wait! That's when he's like, we got good news, and she's like, no, I don't! <laughs> no, no, we don't. Why would you ever think that we ever have good news? Are they still separated? Yeah. That's why, then. They're not on the same page. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be Oh, Isaac, do more shit. Oh, yeah, we can fix this and that. Right. I thought that it was just a matter of escaping now. Why are you still fixing stuff? Because we have to find a way off the ship. Oh. Um, our one way in exploded. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, you don't remember at the beginning well, that yeah, shit? Well, yeah, I know that. But, like, it, 
I'm so used to seeing like sci-fi movies where like the ship separates into different pieces with like airlocks. Can't you just get into one piece and just separate? Right. I don't think that would work if they're coming through the vents though. I was Because just... I'm pretty sure some people did try to quarantine themselves. Yeah. No, just saying, just screw the rest of the ship. I'm not sure if I remember this part. You know how much crap uh, people on planet Earth have decided to just say, screw it and leave in space? Oh, yeah, it's bad. There is a website you can go to with NASA, and you can just watch this garbage floating around Earth. That's kind of disappointing. And NASA literally has to... Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> the store yeah nasa literally has to watch these cameras before they can launch anything to make sure they don't yeah they need to make sure it's out of the way yeah but it's like paint chips and screws and hinges and satellites from like different launches and just the satellites the fuck was that oh (laughs) hi yeah i forgot they can still get you when you're shopping yeah i just heard like a pained scream i didn't even hear anything drop in here and now we have a For Tesla. Fucking interrupting me, asshole. We have a Tesla out there too. <laughs> yeah, we have a Tesla just like floating around in just space. Just go ahead, just throw in a Tesla. Yeah, while you're at might it. as well. I'm rich. Might as well just throw this car into orbit. Yeah, but I thought it was right. cool. I think I've heard people's theories uh, about the spaceman sitting in the driver's seat of the Tesla, saying that uh, what is the guy that launched it off? His name? Um, crap. I have like a major brain fart. Uh, Elon Musk. Yeah, they're saying someone could have pissed him off and he could have killed them and put them in the spaceman suit and launched it out into space in his Tesla and nobody would ever know. Oh, he totally could have. <laughs> That'd be like a super <laughs> easy way to dispose of a body. Yeah, like, I don't think Elon Musk could get arrested for murder if he tried. Dude. Just the, with how much money he has. California literally has given him permission to make tunnels under the state of California. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, he's a genius. Yeah, so. he says he's doing it as a under road traffic because the traffic in LA is ridiculous so he's trying to make like an underground uh, travel system for well that's cars. cool I think you told me about that yeah and he, apparently he's making a lot of progress on it I was looking at his Instagram yeah the other day. high five yay <laughs> <laughs> he uh had pictures of him driving through one of the tunnels Really? Yeah. So they're functioning at this point. Well, I mean, maybe to a certain degree. Maybe he's only drilled so far. Right. But he posted on his Instagram if y'all want to check it out. Yeah, check out Elon Musk. I'll throw up a link or something. I don't know. Sorry if we're kind of laggy. It's been a very long weekend so far. Yeah, it's Saturday. (laughs) It's the second day of the weekend. But we went and saw uh, A Quiet Place last night, so we're up pretty late. And that movie's pretty yeah. great. Yeah, that was a fantastic movie, guys. I highly recommend going to see it. Yeah, there, there could be a John Krasinski movie of him sitting on the toilet, and I'd watch it. I'd fuck him. No, sh- <laughs> <laughs> That's Jim Halpert. I would destroy Jim Halpert's booty. But I, I love The Office, and so uh, when I found out that he wrote, directed, and starred, I was like, yeah, we gotta give it a shot, and... Even if it wasn't him, I would say this movie is great. Didn't you say that uh, he said he doesn't even like horror movies? Yeah, he said when he was growing up he didn't even like horror movies, so this was kind of strange for him to have this idea. Um, would but you he shut the fuck it. up and let me open the door? <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, just go on. Smack the little thing. <laughs> He's away. pissing me off. He's just rambling. But yeah, he said that he thought it was kind of weird for him to want to pursue that, but he did, and it, dude, it's awesome. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Hey. Let's get out of this ha- hallway. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Isn't that like the big tentacle thing? Yeah, that's the Leviathan. Leviathan? Yep. It's hey, look, store. another store. It's buy useless shit I don't need. Yeah. But I found uh, just the dynamic of like his characters and stuff to be pretty cool. Uh, like His wife in the movie is actually his wife. And oh, I, yeah, you did mention... Oh, fuck. What are, are those people... Like, are those dead That's bodies? Debris. What is that? Uh, well, we're just talking about debris in space. And look. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. If I remember correctly, we're about to get into one hell of a fight. Ew. Okay, I guess not yet. But, uh... This is, like, one of the first movies uh, where if somebody is hearing impaired, they can actually enjoy it. The cast learned sign language. Mm-hmm. 
thing. The entire movie, other than small incidents, is all sign done language. via sign language. Yeah, and it so it's it's really cool. So if someone's hearing impaired, they can enjoy it. I feel like that's what made it so scary is the contrast from like the deep silence to the. Well, it's kind of like Dead noises. Space. Yeah. It's kind of like Dead Space where it's just quiet. You don't hear anything until you see it. Um, so it, it definitely brings a different horror element into it, which again is what makes this game so interesting as well. Hey, it's Hammond. Now you're like, now you quit blowing up my screen because you're right here. Yeah, just fucking, Isaac, do this. It's the big chair. I want a toilet like that. A toilet like that? Yeah. Th- what if you had like a reclining toilet? You could just be like, <laughs> <laughs> why would you want a reclining toilet? You could be toilet. like so freaking comfortable. Why you took a shit? I feel like I just feel awkward. Why? I don't know. I don't want to poop laying down. <laughs> You're not laying down. You're <laughs> laid back. I don't. I just want to poop normal. Well, there's some people that like sit backwards on the toilet and straddle the tank. Yeah, which is weird as fuck. Well, they can rest their arms up on the tank. I, I mean, yeah. Read a good book. <laughs> They're gonna be a while. I'm gonna shoot this dude in the mouth if he doesn't shut up. <laughs> You got some people that sit on, like, their feet on the toilet and squat. Right. One of our friends does that. One of our friends does that. One of our friends does that. You're going to have to tell me off camera who does that. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea of who does it. Our friend is very limber and can kick people in the head. Uh, okay. That should narrow it down. Yeah, it does, kind of. But yeah, they like to squat on top of the toilet to take a crap. Such a weird... You have weird ass friends. He, <laughs> they're your friend too. I know, but it's just so weird. <laughs> but I mean, think about it. When you're in nature, you're not sitting. It's the whole point True, of the squatty potty. Oh, dude, I love my squatty yeah, potty. Yeah, I got Cody a squatty potty for Christmas like three years ago. And I totally love it. We love it, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep, we're about to get in a fight. You ready for this? Sure, because you're the one having to do it. <laughs> yeah, this part sucks. Okay. How much ammo do I have in my plasma cutter? Was it the Pepsi commercials that used to like break through metal? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe it was Fallout. Slow down, bitch. It makes me think of a uh, Fallout. What makes you think of Fallout? How it slowed down and you're shooting at it. Oh, like vats? Yeah. But uh, Brian Cranston bought his wife a squatty potty for their wedding anniversary. Really? Yeah, he was talking about it, I think, on Conan. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm kicking this thing's ass. What? It just looks like a big pile of metal. It's a brute. What does that mean? It's a very dangerous necromorph. <laughs> that just covers itself in metal for protection? No, that's like solidified bone. Oh. But the only vulnerable spot is in its shoulders. That's why I was hoping I had enough ammo in my plasma cutter so I could be accurate. They need to have like a big buff guy. With just like really weak legs. The brute. Is that you said that? Yeah, he's got little tiny legs. <laughs> I was just thinking about like how a lot of like bodybuilders, they say they skip leg day, but it's really that your calves can only expand so far. Yeah. So if you're really into bodybuilding, a lot of guys get calf implants, yep. <laughs> so they stay looking big. <laughs> Plasma cutter. Uh, let's go with capacity. But yeah, I've heard that too, that you can only work out to a certain extent and your body only gets so big. Yeah, and it's just your legs are not going to match your arms, so they get calf implants. You know, no offense to anybody that bodybuilds, because I mean, that is truly something you have to work very hard at. Yeah, I mean, but it's an art I wonder how many of own. these people at least acknowledge that being that buff isn't good for your musculoskeletal structure. The majority. The mo- majority of them acknowledge that? Yes. Like, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger strongman competition. I was watching the documentary of it on uh, Netflix, and the guy that plays the mountain is actually on it. Yeah. And, uh, they were saying that these guys know they can only do this for so many years because it's so unhealthy and so bad on their body. Oh, yeah, it's not good for you. Yeah, and so, like, a lot of them, their wives are begging them, like, can this please be the last one, and whenever you're done, can you please cut the weight and slim back down, like, not be so muscular? Right, like Um, it's very, very dangerous. People underestimate what that'll do to your body. Yeah, it's very, very bad for your heart. Yeah, well, not only that, your uh, rib cage, like any of your bones. Yeah. Dude, am I just stuck on this elevator? (laughs) 
No. Did, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard a scream. Yeah. Was that the audio log? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's anybody alive on this ship at this point. I guess we'll see. Alright, I need to... Was that just another audio log? I was like, that's not somebody that you've seen. Yeah, this is a, a video log. Okay. I'm trying to pick up this damn health pack, thank you. <laughs> no. It's like, nah, I don't want it. You want to save and pick it up next time? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it right here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. I see ya. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world.